Kevin, is your is your approach this week any different than it was before the Florida game in, in terms of the quality of team coming in that just we just played a game last week. What about the approach last week? Well, for a home a home game and the kids obviously are really fired up this week as a team that's lost fifty six to nothing and, and you're heavily favored against them. Will you take a different approach no, to getting we ready won't to take play a different over? approach. We won't take a different approach. You know, we we've, we've got to be ready to play and um, you know we didn't I don't know that we took a, a much different approach uh, in any game that we play. You know, based on where we are, who we are, what we've accomplished, I don't know that we, we can, you know, not take anybody very, very seriously. Are Michael and Campbell back on for this week? Was that a one-game suspension? Yep. Are they starters? And that, I thought that was released. Uh, it might have been. I just I thought it was just released yeah. that it was, they were suspended for that game. <clears throat> Never know. I've got, you know what? I got to read the releases from right now because you guys are. <laughs> you're gonna pick Why it I ask? Are Never hurts to double check. I don't know. They got to practice. Okay. Yeah, when, when, as long as we're on that subject, uh, during the game, your senior running back is tweeting and saying, "Man, run the ball." Does that bother you at all, or uh, do you address that with him, or you just say? I had a discussion good? with Christian about that yesterday. Coach, what are the challenges you see that South Carolina State will present you guys Saturday? Uh, I think Buddy Pugh does a great job. Uh, this guy that uh, has coached at, uh, I first met him when he was coaching with Lou Holtz in South Carolina. He was there for a long time. And, uh, a guy that does a great job in MIAC, has won championships there. They're going to give you a variety of wide open run game, quarterback run game, uh, spread the field, reverses. I think he. You know, he's one of those guys, once you see one play, if he runs a reverse, don't don't forget about it because he, well, he won't be afraid to run again two or three times. So uh, you, you watch them play. They're wide open on offense, uh, all over the field, spread. Uh, Going to test our defense from uh, from sideline to sideline, defense the same way. Uh, I've watched their, their special teams. I think he tries to block every punt if he gets you to put it. So they twist, bringing guys from everywhere. It'll be good for us because we've been, you know, we, we worked a lot of yesterday of special team stuff, just things that traditionally you don't see uh, from a lot more conservative uh, type teams, but things that we need to see that uh, can really prepare us down the road. What did y'all see from Tony Hurd and what does he bring you on defensive end of the game? Tony Hurd is a uh, high energy player and an effort player. Uh, you know, you, you can't have enough of those guys on your team. He's a, a guy that, uh, you know, you, you always, well, I wish he was bigger. I wish he was this. I wish he was that. You know, he, he just makes plays. He's a great tackler. Uh, uh, you know, he made the, um, he's on kickoff cover. Uh, really a knowledgeable player and uh, a good football player, high football IQ. Uh, and, and makes other guys around him better by communication of, of different things that he sees, uh, getting us lined up, particularly on the perimeter. But he also plays with, with great energy. And uh, uh, I would say that, that that's probably his biggest, biggest asset because what he lacks in some other things, uh, he, he gains because of his, his knowledge and his energy. And, and, and I think our players feel that and feed off of it. So, you know, I've... So he's one of those guys that's fun to be around. I laugh and joke with him all the time in, in uh, practice. He's always in a good mood. Uh, you know, he's he just a great guy to be around. He's great for our team. Overall, how do you think the secondary play, and particularly the Shazer? Uh, you know, moving to Shazer, the Shazer looks natural. Looks looks like he's comfortable at, at safety. You know, I think. Uh, uh, we, we've got some interchanging parts back there, which I think is good. I think it's good for Otis Jacobs uh, to play a lot. You know, that's the reason we, we recruited him uh, to get the first interception, which is you know high point deal for him, staying on top in coverage. Uh, I like to see him coming along. I thought Dustin Harris did some good things uh, Saturday. Uh, as far as you know, the, the, the knock on Dustin is will he stick his face in there? Will he tackle? I thought he. He, he, he did a pretty good job of that. He's always been a, a decent cover guy, but will he be physical enough? Because the league we're, we're going to play in, or we're playing in, um, 
It's going to make they, they make the corners tackle, period. And and it's not a finesse uh, finesse secondary league. So, you know, our, our challenge for our guys is to get better. We we had I think we went from 11 missed tackles against Florida to five on the perimeter in a spread game, which is an improvement. Uh, you know, and, and we got turnovers. So defensively, you know, from a technique standpoint and from a statistical standpoint, we probably that we probably we did get better. And, and uh, you know, I thought uh, you know we're, it's going to take that type of improvement and the consistency for us to be successful.